This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With the dark shadow of the Empire rising to take their place. This message is a warning and a reminder for any surviving Jedi. Trust in the Force. Do not return to the temple. That time has passed. And our future is uncertain. We will each be challenged. Our trust. Our faith. Our friendships. But we must persevere. And in time, a new hope will emerge. May the Force be with you, always. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Feel, don't think. Fear is my ally. The Force will be with you. We are encouraged to love. Be mindful of your thoughts. I will not betray the Republic. Hey, your worship, I'm only trying to help. Scruffy looking nerf herder! I'm not afraid. You must unlearn what you have learned. In keeping with the trusty adage, starve a cold, disgust a fever. So, I wasn't gonna do a video about this, but I might as well. Uh, something called The Secrets of this, the Clone Troopers came out in which a character called Sister appears. Uh, he is a clone, and he's trans, um, which means nothing in reality. This was written and created two years ago. It's being published now, or coming out some way, I don't know. Um, and people are all on fire ab about it. Now, we know that there's still going to be shit in the, the bowels that has to come out right and sister's one of them so sis, captain rex said of sister that she expressed her gender identity differently than her fellow troopers she'd and she'd have to hide who she truly was inside so they gave her the name sister so she knew she truly belonged uh first off it says that gender identity is a choice not inherent second of all this character was created by somebody named E.K. Johnston, a writer that Lucasfilm contracted to write uh, three Padme novels, an Ahsoka novel. She's biromantic and demisexual, which, what the fuck is that? I mean, 
demisexual. Is that another word for saying pansexual, which means uh, don't let her near jack-o'-lanterns and dogs? I don't, you know. Um, I seem to remember her be, uh, stating publicly that she was a very proud cat lady. And if you look at her face, yeah, because there isn't a guy on the planet that would want her. Um, but this has been the problem with Kennedy's version of Lucasfilm since the beginning. Uh, the sister showed up in Clone Troop and uh, the Podmain, uh, one of the Podmain novels, I don't know. Uh, these, the, this woman wasn't the right person to write these. And strangely, she writes uh, young adult fiction. So she's basically grooming teenage girls and boys, okay, through her uh, so-called creative uh, writing. Um, I wouldn't buy my kids any of these, and if I caught them reading any of her writing, I would pr pr probably punish them and burn the book in front of them, okay? This, this is why the world is the way it is, because people like this... E.K. Johnston get away with the, the, the biggest horseshit on the planet and passively aggressively grooming children. Okay, that's what this is. Um, and what in the hell does a transsexual stormtrooper have to do, or clone have to do with Star Wars? And of course, uh, Johnston also wrote a, a, a queer novel uh, about the Crimson Dawn. We have Emily. I haven't had a, a cheeseburger in my whole life. Uh, what's her face? Uh, Amelia. What's her face? I mean, um, on the cover. Uh, obviously, the woman doesn't write about men at all. Um, I can't imagine what the novel that she wrote about Padme would be look making Anakin look stupid. But this is the person that wrote this. Okay, this is the person who I, I wrote and created Sister. All right, this, and I'm going to tell you guys something. If you're looking at canon, the novels are not canon, which is why it was very easy for Kennedy to dismiss the EU, okay? Uh, the, fact, the fact that these, that this woman was hired to write a Star Wars novel is ridiculous, but that goes for Claudia Gray, who's also, uh, I think, sexually repressed and obsessed, just like this woman is. Um, but let's talk for a <laughs> Well, she's horrible. I've made a ghastly, ghastly mistake. <laughs> Excuse me, Niles, but I've got news for you. Copernicus called, and you are not the center of the universe. <laughs> so what of, sister? Well, let's talk about this. First off, uh, Rex says that he chose to express his gender in a unique way, and I'm paraphrasing. He chose. There's no, he couldn't help it, this is the way he was made, he chose. Basically, E.K. Johnston unwittingly proved the point that the people who don't want people like her to uh, have access to children, and she's a kid's author, okay? And she basically makes herself wrong in her probably personal assessment that people can't help it. But this is the problem, and it really is, uh, like I said, uh, typical of at least the writers that have been contracted by Lucasfilm to write novels. Uh, we go from Claudia Gray to Daniel Jose Older to Justina Ireland to this uh, tub of lard, and it's like, there you go. You couldn't get more loopy activist bullshit if you went into the DNC meeting. Okay, but it's an indictment of Kennedy's choices, all right? She chose Ryan Johnson 
she chose Harvey's former personal assistant. Um, and they took Star Wars and trashed it. Okay. Gleefully, I might add. And I'm going to say it's inherent, the, the narcissism that we're going to make a movie for us. We're going to write a book for us rather than write a good Star Wars book is in a, is across the board as bad as I've ever seen it. Okay, this is, it's bad writing. It's bad everything. Okay, and the, the, the encounter with the sister or sister just proves, A, that everything they've said about the trans movement is bullshit. B, that there's still garbage in the system that needs to be worked out. C, that Kennedy was trying to make it worse by allowing a bottom-feeding troll like E.K. Johnston and her fat cat ladiness touch Star Wars. And remember, this garbage was in a Padme novel. Okay. This is, and this is why we can't have nice things. They want to take the abnormal, the demonic, and make it normal. Okay. They're getting called out for this now. You know, and I'm sure Iger's like, we didn't need this. But again, I think maybe perhaps uh, he's proving a point. It's time for the story group to get fired. All right. All of them. Gone. Contracts run out. They're not renewed. Uh, go sit on it and twirl. Okay. It's my opinion. Anyway, uh, this is Steph signing out. I'll see you around the galaxy.